welcome to my studio. I've had a huge declutter and sorted everything out, cleared out loads of old paint tubes that were all dried up, and had a bit of a refresh. So I thought I would walk you guys through the studio, show you my favorite products and where I keep everything. If you like to watch decluttering and organization videos, I have uploaded the whole process of me decluttering the studio and really tidying it up. So if you wanna go and watch that, check out the video after you've watched the tour. Okay, so let's go. So this is the part of the studio that most of you guys see in my videos. I get a lot of questions about my easel. This easel is by Windsor & Newton and it's the Welland easel. So I'll pop links to everything that I mention in the description box as long as I can find it online. This has been a great easel. I didn't start with this easel, I kind of worked my way up. So I started with quite a flimsy, cheaper one and gradually upgraded my easels. So don't worry if you're on the floor at the moment, you have to start somewhere. Also, this gets a lot of mentions. This is my art cart. And as many of you know, as you will recognize it, it's from Ikea. I'll just show you guys briefly what's in this art cart so that you can get a closer look. So mostly this art cart houses a lot of my paints. Um, here we have oil paints and these are mostly the larger tubes as I have quite a few smaller tubes over there on my desk and um, we also have some of the oil bars that are really nice to use if you've never used oil bars and um, they are really intuitive to use you know you can really go with your gut with it yeah the only thing is with these you have to quite like um, colors straight out the tube because I found them quite difficult to mix but they're really fun just to have a go on the canvas. It's like using a huge crayon, basically. So they are really fun to use. Also, I obviously have my water bucket, which has currently got blue watery painting at the moment. And um, this has been really, really good. So I actually used little glass bottles for years, probably, and I invested in one of these. It was 25 pounds, which, for me at the time, I was like, that is a huge investment. <laughs> um, I actually thought about buying this for probably six months until I actually bought it because I just thought, you know, it's gonna get wrecked. But it really was worth every penny because it has like an insert. Uh, it sort of like disturbs the paint on the brush. So yeah, there we go. And here we have a bunch of old, disgusting tea towels. I mean, I think this used to be like a very, very pale green and now it's just grey and dirty. So <laughs> that's where all the manky bits of paint go. Old tea towels, old rags, it's fine. You don't need anything posh, but they are better to use than paper towels, obviously, for the environment if you can. On this layer, it's like a cake, isn't it? A three-layered cake. On this layer we have old acrylic tubes that to be honest some of these might need throwing away i didn't get time to go through all of these as well i mean this one looks kind of empty but these are sort of like the the backups and um, as you can see there's like a neon yellow which doesn't feature very often in my work in fact i think i've maybe never used this at all so yeah here we have just basically some Colours that maybe I don't add too much into my work, um, but they're nice to have there if I need them. In this little pot, um, there are some chalks, which are really nice to use. In fact, this is my favourite colour chalk. It's like a lovely lime green. But these were in a, like a bargain bin for, I think they were 20p for a whole bag of them. 20p is really cheap if, if you're not familiar with UK money, it's a fifth of a British pound. So <laughs> you can see that, you know, I couldn't I couldn't say no to that. And they're, they're fun just to have like a little experiment with. And along the back, we just again have some, maybe colors that I don't use as much, but are really nice to have there. And also I have bigger tubes here, like bigger bottles of the smaller paints that I have on my desk. 
Moving on to the final layer. First of all, I have a big tub of gloves. Yeah, these are nitrile gloves, which are the ones you can use with oil paint. There are different types of plastic that you can use with different paints. I know that some plastic you, you can't really use with oil paints because it will still contaminate. So nitrile are brilliant with oil paints and especially because I'm expecting, I have to be really, really careful with getting any, any sort of substance on my skin. So these are really handy. I do try and um, reuse them as well. So I actually don't go through much of these at all. I'm not an extremely messy painter anyway, but it's just handy to have to make sure. And along the bottom, again, I have some huge tubes of paint in case I want to experiment. These brands are a little bit cheaper. So if I'm not working on like a final piece, but I just want to have a bit of color to play with, I will grab these. This actually is a brand new linseed oil I bought for oil paints and I could never get the top off. So that's just hanging around in the art cart, waiting until one day I can use it. That is the art card. Ta-da! So moving on to my desk area. This is obviously what gets featured a lot in my videos on my Instagram and things like that. This glass palette is by Paragona. I will try to link to it in the description box if I can. It's really been great for all types of paint, but especially oil paint. Um, these are just a mixture of my shorter brushes. And this is where I keep all my longer brushes, which again, I use mostly for oil paint, but also acrylic. I would say that my favorite range of brush is the Winsor & Newton, the Winton, uh, flat or round. And these are both size 12. I love myself a beastie brush um, to cover loads of surface area. Ooh, sorry, Flint. These are the ones I tend to grab most often. This little wire tray is from Ikea. And I say little, it's actually pretty big and it holds a lot of paint. So if you have loads of paint that you want to store in a really concise space, this has been absolutely brilliant. And I said it's from Ikea, so plenty of storage options there. And this beautiful little wire basket was from one of my best friends and is really special to me and this has my oil paints in. Again, I've got a mixture of some of my favorite colors that I grab a lot. We also have a few of the smaller tubes as well. This little pot here is where I've decided to put all my palette knives. Then along here we have my watercolor brushes, a beautiful little candle that smells like pumpkin latte, and a very real little plant. Okay guys, so now I thought I could show you what is in this corner unit. The top one is for important documents that maybe I'm not going to show on the internet. The second one is palettes. We have watercolour palettes, watercolour palettes, watercolour palettes, brand new palette, and yeah, an ink palette. Next, we have art books. We have the art book and just a few little bits of inspiration. The next one, receipts for tax purposes. Not very interesting. The next one, we have charcoal, more charcoals, um, more charcoal, and some pencils. There are also some inks that I really like to use quite a lot actually. I do really like inks. Some random funky little gadgets that make cleaning brushes really easy. If you're interested in these, they're called paint puck brush cleaners. And I wouldn't say I use them a lot, but they are quite handy. And phone cases are in this little tub here. Also, just on phone cases, I don't know if I've already told you guys, but phone cases are now available. So I'll pop the link to phone cases in the description box. Here we have, oh, I just need to zoom you in. Here we have more watercolors. We have little watercolor palettes. 
If you guys like this cute little one, I showed you guys how I made it. So I will link to that video now if you want to watch that. We have some beautiful shimmery colours and a little, another little palette, loads of cute little tubes and also my favourite Mission Gold watercolour class palettes. These are super vibrant and I'm in love with them. Next we have kind of just a bit of a boring drawer. This is still waiting for its contents basically. Here we have some gouache colours that I really love to use and also the Peebo paints, the ones that sort of react together are in here. And this is just a drawer for stuff basically, old photo frames and weird little sponges. Okay, I'm gonna get up from the floor. Ugh. Please tell me that was recording. Also down here I have my folder, this is where I keep basically loads of sketches. There is so much in this folder. There are like little, little sketches that you guys probably see on my Instagram or big paintings like this one that was a tutorial. I'll link to that tutorial now if you guys want to go see how to paint this. But I did think it might be quite a cool, bleh, cruel. Um, I did think it might make quite a cool video to show you guys everything that's in here and show you guys all my sketches and maybe like little experiments that didn't quite work. So I might save those for another day. This is another IKEA unit and it is on wheels, so it wheels back and forth. I do have a few palettes on top of here that I can wheel around if I need to around my easel. Okay, so first of all, we have kind of a random drawer. So I have a hard drive, which I use for all my YouTube videos, um, a huge calculator, which I think is pretty awesome. I have my notes in here. These are the ones that I put with all my orders. A tape measure, which is really handy cute little twines that I use to wrap my orders with, all the bits of tools that you need to hang the backs onto paintings, then some lovely cards that I keep as inspiration from my followers and subscribers so that when I'm, I'm feeling a little bit down I can just grab one out of my top drawer and it makes me feel better. Second drawer down, we have scissors and a protractor which I don't think I've ever used ever um, highlighters I've got all like the cute colors because I am a bit of a stationary addict um, sharpie pens whiteboard pens some more paint brushes and some cool stickers I really love stickers so when I see cool stickers I just have to buy them and I never use them not very often but I still like to have them. Next drawer down, we have tissue paper and plastic wallets to put in artwork for when I'm sending it away. Next drawer is the tape. We have the beast of a tape gun, which is really helpful when you're packaging large paintings. Um, a few different tapes, and these are my stickers that I use for wrapping my orders. And we have all different designs. Next, this is my watercolour paper drawer. So we've got different watercolour paper options here. And then these are my watercolour sketchbooks. And last but not least is my normal paper sketchbooks. So this is just um, not necessarily for watercolour. These are for sketching or we have some pastel paper, acrylic paper, oil paper. This is where I keep all of the paper. Okay, so that is my unit. 
So this side of the studio is one that I very rarely show on YouTube. It's usually the place where I dump everything and it doesn't look very pretty. But now I've had a clear out and an organisation, I'll happily show you my very tidy, well it's still not that tidy to be fair, but my unit. I don't know if, I, oh you guys can't see it there. Just spin you around. Um, this is a Charmaine Olivia print. She's my favourite artist. She is just beautiful in every way possible. Um, and her artwork is incredible. I'm sure you guys are already aware of it if you guys are into art. But if not, check her out. Her Instagram is Charmaine Olivia. She is pretty epic. And she really inspires me. And she is the reason why I started doing art. So it's only right that she should take prime place as you walk into the studio. Top layer, we've got some old paintings. These are old paintings that I've had in videos. I've got some tape, fragile tape and all that sort of stuff. I use like quite a few different cameras depending on what it is that I'm recording. To be honest, um, a lot of these are empty or just got really lame things in. I never know what to put in there because the wood, you know like when, ugh, when the wood goes in and out, that noise of the wood, I just, so it's kind of like for decoration to put things in that I don't need very often because it goes through me to open it. So these wooden tubs are also from Ikea. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Ikea. Wow, I wish it was. Ikea, if you want to do a collab, I'm here. Uh, this is all sorts of painting things. We've got fixative, which is what you spray on charcoal drawings. We've got matte varnish and gloss varnish. These spray ones are really good, but you must you must do them outside or in a really well ventilated space. I always spray mine outside. We have linseed oil. Um, an air duster, which I think I've used once, maybe. Uh, more matte varnish, but of the liquid kind. More gloss varnish, which is nearly gone. More, <laughs> more matte varnish in the liquid form. And some inks. This has just got a load of candles in, or things that I use to maybe dress my set when I'm painting, more paint, more backup acrylic paint, um, old sketchbooks, loads of different sketchbooks that are now full, and this has leads in it and general bits and bobs. So that is it for this side of the room. It's not super interesting, it's kind of just where I keep a lot of either the backup things or like things that look ugly like leads and backup props and candles <laughs> and horrible squeaky wooden drawers that no one wants to open. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed that studio tour. If you're not already part of the family, hit that subscribe button and join in our gorgeous community that we've got here and I'll see you in the next video.